Hi everyone, it's Clyde of Vibrant Soap and um, I was on a mad rush to get a lot of soap done and then I met my deadline um, and now I don't have a deadline but I'm just missing making soap so I'm going to make soap today. Uh, I'm going to be making a soap called Awapuhi Paradise. My parents are from Hawaii and I really love ginger flowers so this is based on that. All kinds of colors and I'll talk about them in the color tutorial so let's get started right now. Okay, this one's a difficult color to talk about because really there's no rhyme or reason to it in some respects. Um, but it is a good time to talk about pastels. And I finally got my acrylic paints out so I can kind of mix some colors. So there's red, which will be a part of my color scheme for this soap. And when you add white to it, that's when we get the pastels. So I'm also going to have pink in this soap also. So I switched again to my acrylic paint so I could do this work with the white. So there's the red and pink. And that's the brightest pink I can get with these paints. Then I'm going to have some turquoise, which is basically a bluish green. and some green and I mixed a couple greens I mixed a couple greens in my pink color my um, soap colorants so that I would get sort of a lime green I mixed some dark green in it too so it might be a little bit more uh, green than this right here and then I have my just my plain white which got mixed with my green a little bit but that's all right so you otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it in this demonstration so these are the colors that I'm going to be using in my soap and they look kind of unrelated but I'm thinking that it's going to work because of course the red and the pink together are related red right next to pink you can see my paint's already muddying up a little bit because I'm not cleaning my brush really well. And then the turquoise and the green will work together because they've got blue in common. And then the white. And I'm going to keep them somewhat separate in this soap and that's why it's going to work I think. And I'm going to be doing two different uh, in the pot swirls um, so that they kind of intermingle a little bit. So that's it right now. The only other thing I can say about the colors is that, you know, these are the warm colors and these are the cool colors. And that's what I'm going to be um, working with in my soap. Okay, I'm going to start off by just blending everything that's liquid except for the fragrance oil and the lye. And then I'm going to add the lye and I'm going to speed through this so that we can get to the design part. If you want to... Alright, so let's get this going. So my colors are all ready. There's my red, my green, my pink, and turquoise. Just little bits of that color. And it's okay if it's not absolutely white, as long as it's a little lighter. I'll get the fragrance in there after everything else is mixed. I haven't used it before and I was prepared for some acceleration. Let's go for this one. my red the pink it's the green and the 
turquoise. And the first thing I'm going to do is to notice that my pink and my red are so close, I'm going to add some more of my white to this one so it lightens up a little bit. Give that another blend. That's better. And then better get my fragrance in there. Most of it goes in the white. Divide this up. I love that smell too. It's very um, Hawaiian. Pink. Red. And it's important that I rinse off my blender because the red and green are opposites. they will bring down the pureness. Next thing I'm going to do is divide up my white. So I have that as the base for both of my in the pot swirls. So let's mix this white up. Again, just splitting this up in half pretty much. One of the in the pot swirls is going to have red and turquoise, and the other one's going to have green and pink. So I'm going to basically do sort of full funnel pours in this. Drop it in there. Two spots. A little bit on top there. Keep some for the top. So that green is going to be with the pink. I'm going to drop that right on top of that one. There. And a little on top there. And keep a little for the top. With the turquoise and red. Do a similar thing here. It's a really deep turquoise. Keep some for the top. And lastly the red. Some for the top. And give this two stirs. And give this one two stirs. Get my mold. Here's this in the pot swirl. I'm going to do like S pours. Sort of a drop pour as well. Get the rest of this in there. Try to get them in little stripes so I can do an interesting swirl. Trying to get this in the corners without getting it out of the mold is the trick right now. Okay, I'm going to go two diagonals because I know the kind of look I'm after. There's one diagonal.
Where's the next diagonal? I don't want to get do more than that. I want to keep it pretty much of a bigger pattern. Let's get the dividers in there. Yeah, I like that. I did have my glitter nearby just in case I think I needed it, and I think I am going to do that. Sort of like uh, bits of uh, dew drops on the awapuhi. Just wanted to show you that I, I think it is pretty close to the color scheme that I did with the paints before we started. First thing I'm going to do is just turn this upside down to get the silicone liner. to the next step. Two bars just want to stay in here. There's one of them. See the rainbow from the side. I love that. One more in here. Still a little bit sticky but they're still firm enough to take out of there pretty nicely. And this has sodium lactate in it too so it's a firmer bar. I think it helps it to come out of the mold for sure. I think they're coming out on their own pretty well, so I'm just going to take the dividers off. It gives, um, get the soap out with less pressure on the bars that way. There's just a little hint of glitter on that to give it a shine. Certainly the texture of the leaves reminds me of ginger. There's a variety of ginger that my family crest um, uses. I never really knew that. The Japanese had family crests until um, I talked to my great aunt one day, so I have a sort of a attachment to Awapuhi in that respect. That and my parents were raised in Hawaii, so I've seen a lot of their tropical plants, ginger, plumeria, a lot when I was growing up. So I really like these molds too because of the way it pushes the color down around the sides. Can you believe 18 bars came out of this mold already with very little effort? That one. I like that one. Okay, so that's it already, and I'll clean these up and show them to you in a sec. Bye, and thanks for watching. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap.